Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Green here again with another vocabulary video for you. Today we are going over our vocabulary words for Unit 5, Week 1. So let's begin. Repeat after me. Champion. Determined. Issues. Promises. Responsibility. Rights. Volunteer, votes. So now, as always, we're going to click on each one to see what they mean. Okay, our first word is ch ch champion. Can you say champion? Good. Now let's listen to what this word means. You may have used this word when talking with your friends. Champion. A champion is a person who has won a contest. Maya won the game and became the new champion. What is a synonym for champion? So a champion is someone who has won a contest. And I know we all love to play games with our friends. And you know, after your game, when you've won and beat everyone in the contest, you may jump up and down and say, yay, yay, I'm the champion. Let's look at our example. Champion. A champion is a person who has won a contest. Wow. So we see Maya won the game and became the new champion. And what do you see that's hanging around her neck? It's a medal, right? Sometimes champions, the winner of the contest, get, can get a medal. Now let's go back to our question. What is a synonym for champion? Now we've talked about synonyms before. Remember synonyms are same meaning, but maybe a different word. So what's another word you can use for or in place of champion. Hmm, I'm thinking of one, it starts with a W. I said it in one of my sentences before. When you win a game, you can possibly become a winner. So winner is another synonym for the word champion. Good, let's listen to our next word. Our next word is determined. Can you say determined? All right, let's listen to what it means. Determined. If you determined something, you decided it. The boy determined which books to check out at the library. Who determined what you wore to school today? So to determine something means that you decided it. You made a choice. So if we look at our example, it says the boy determined which books to check out at the library. That means he made a choice. He went around, he chose which ones he wanted, he was determined. So going back to our question, who determined what you wore to school today? Now we're not at school, so there's two ways you can look at this question. You could think back to when we were in school, who determined what you wore, or maybe you can think of who determined what you wore at home today. You can answer your question on a piece of paper, or if you want, you can write a comment to your teacher. Let's look at our next word. Our next word is issues. Mm. Let's look at our definition. Issues. Issues are important problems or subjects that people talk about. The firemen talked about issues of fire safety with the children. What are some issues in your classroom? So issues are important. That's a very special word. They're important problems or subjects that people talk about. So when you have an issue, that means that it's something important that you need to discuss right away. So let's look at our example. 
it says the firemen talked about issues of fire safety with the children. So he's talking about something. Yeah, you got it. Important. We all know that fire safety is very important. So let's think about some issues we may have in our classroom. What are some important problems or subjects that we may talk about when we're together? Well, one important issue may be making sure that you're not running in the classroom or making sure that you're carrying scissors correctly. Remember, issues are important problems or subjects that people talk about. Let's look at our next word. Our next word is promises. Can you say promises? Good. And I know a lot of us make promises to our friends, to our family members. Let's see what this word means. Promises. Promises are things you say that you will definitely do. Zach and John made promises to tell the truth and stay friends. Why should you keep your promises? Hmm. Good. So promises are things that you will say that you say that you would definitely do. So when you make a promise, whether it be to your friends or to your family members, you have to make sure that it's something you will do. Let's look at our example. Promises. Promises are things you say that you will definitely do. All right, in that video, what did Zach and John do? They made promises. They made promises to tell the truth and stay friends. And when they made their promise, did you see what they did with their hands? Right, they did a sort of handshake. Some of us may do like a pinky promise where we stick up our pinky and then we cuff it with our friends or our family members. So they made a promise. They said something that they would definitely do. But why is it important for us to keep our promises? Well, if you say something and you don't do it, how do you think it'll make your family or your friends feel? Probably sad, right? I know I would be sad if I made a promise or if someone made a promise to me and they didn't keep it or if I couldn't keep it. So we have to make sure that when we're making a promise, it's something that we will definitely do. Let's look at our next word. Our next word is responsibility. Ooh, that's a big word. Let's clap it out. Re-spon-si-bil-li-ti. Wow, how many syllables did you count? Nice, nice counting. So, responsibility, you may have heard this word, whether it be with your teachers or with your parents at home. Let's see what it means. Responsibility. If you have a responsibility to do something, it is your job to do it. It is my responsibility to clean my room every week. What is a responsibility you have at home? So when you have a responsibility to do something, it's your job, something that you have to do. So if we look at this example, let's listen close. Responsibility. It is my responsibility to clean my room every week. So what's this boy's responsibility? Well, if I look around in the picture, I see his room is a little bit messy. Maybe he was having lots of fun playing. But after you're done playing, you have to make sure that you clean up, right? So this is his responsibility, his job, to clean his room every week. So let's go back to our question. What is a responsibility that you have at home? What's your job to do in your house? Maybe it's helping to take care of your younger brother or sister, 
Maybe it's cleaning your room every day. Maybe you have a responsibility to take out the garbage or wash the dishes. Remember, when you have a responsibility, it is your job and you have to do it. Let's go to the next word. Our next word is rights. R-I-T, right, rights. Good. Do you know what's making the I sound in rights? I know this was one of our spelling words one time. Yes, the I-G-H. I-G-H says the I sound. Let's listen to what rights means. Rights. Your rights are the things the law says you can do or have. Going to school is one of your rights as a citizen. What other rights do you have? Okay, so our rights, very important. They are things that the law, that means the government, whether it be the mayor or the president, says that you can do or you can have. So let's look at our example. This is a very important right that we have as a citizen, and that is your right to go to school. You have a right to go to school and get an education from your teacher. That means you can learn. So this is something that the law says that we can do or we can have. So I want you to think. What are some other rights that you have? Maybe it's a right that you have as a citizen in Patterson, or maybe it's a right that you have even in your own home that your mom says that you can do or have. So I want you to think carefully about that. And then when you have your answer, you can type it in the comments, share with your teacher, or you can share with someone at home. Let's listen to the next word. Our next word is volunteered. Volunteered. If you volunteered to do something, you offered to do it. I volunteered to help plant flowers in the garden. Tell about a time you volunteered to help someone. So when you volunteer to do something, you offered, you wanted to do it. And oftentimes volunteers don't really want something in return. They do it out of the kindness of their heart. So let's look at our example. Volunteered. If you volunteered to do something, you offered to do it. Oh, did you see which one volunteer? Was it her? Mm, was it him? How about this boy? Did he volunteer? Yeah, he volunteered. And when he did so, he raised his hand and then he walked over. But what did he volunteer to do? Oh yeah, that's right. He has a plant in his hand. He volunteered to help plant flowers in the garden. Wow, wasn't that so nice of him to do? Nice. So let's look at our question here. Tell about a time that you volunteered to help someone. When was a time that you offered to do something for someone else without anything in return and out of the kindness of your heart? Well, I can think of one. Just recently, one of my friends had a birthday and I volunteered to decorate the outside of their house. It wasn't something that I had to do, but I offered to do it just to make my friend feel good. So what is a time that you volunteered to help someone? Maybe it's someone at home, maybe it was someone at school, maybe even someone you passed by on the street. Let us know in the comments, or you can write it down to share with your teacher. Let's look at our next word. Our next word is 
votes. Can you say votes? Good. It has a long old sound because who's there at the end? Yep, Magic E. He stays quiet. So let's listen to the word votes. Votes. Votes are choices made by people to elect someone or opinions given to decide something. I wonder who got the most votes in our class election. When do people use votes to decide things? So we often use votes as citizens in our city, in our country, and even in our state. And sometimes we even use votes in our classrooms. So votes are choices made by people to elect, that means to choose someone, or a vote can be an opinion given to decide something. So when you're voting or when you have votes, you're making a choice. So let's look at our examples. Votes. Votes are choices made by people to elect someone or opinions given to decide something. So right here we have students and they are handing in their votes. Now they're voting in a class election. So what's going to happen is they have a group of students, maybe two or three, that they want to choose to be their class leader, their class president. So then they write the name of the person they want on the piece of paper, and then they put it in the box, the ballot box. So then when all of the votes are in, when all the piece of papers are in, then the teacher can choose to see who won the class election. Now, we have done something like this in our class before when our class won for their owl behavior, we made a vote on what we wanted as a treat for our party. So we had a choice of chips, cookies, ice pop, and each student wrote down what they wanted. We put it in a little container and then we counted up the votes. My class, do you remember what we chose? Everyone else, can you guess what they chose? They chose ice pops. So when do you use votes to decide things? Maybe think about a time at home when you had to vote on what you wanted for dinner or what you wanted to eat for lunch or even a game you wanted to play on Xbox. We use votes a lot. And we're back to the beginning. So let's go back home so that we can review the words we just learned. So repeat after me. Actually, this time we're gonna do it together. Read with me. Champion, determined, issues, promises, responsibility, rights, volunteer, and votes. Wow, look at all these amazing words you just learned about. So you're going to take the words that you just learned, you're going to use it to help you to fill in your packet, as well as do the other activities that your teachers have posted in Google Classroom. Remember, if you're unsure of any of the words, you can come back to this video and listen to the definitions again. I hope this helped. Bye.